Hi, I'm Bobby Pierre with Tap Into, and I'm here today with some Mount Carmel Society folks. I have Mike Dequila and Daniela Petrilli here today. Welcome. Hello, Hi. hello. Thank you. I can't wait to hear about this year's feast. I can't believe it's already going to start on Friday. So the Mount Carmel Society, it's a hundred plus year group that was founded in Berkeley Heights, brought over from Italy. I know that we have a huge history, <laughs> but I feel like there's a lot of new blood and we have a lot of new things to look forward to with the feast this year. Can we start with when does it start? How does it start? And what's new this year? So let me just get started. So again, thank you very much, Bobby, for taking some time to go through this. So the feast starts this Friday. We'll be kicking it off at three o'clock with the Italian flag raising ceremony down at Town Hall, which is great. So a new tradition that started a couple years ago. Uh, Kona Ice Truck will be there to help cool us off after we go through the flag raising. So hopefully this heat wave does break by the time we get to Friday. Then six o'clock, the traditional bombs that will go off and so begins the feast. Uh, so we're very excited this year. We have a great lineup of music. We'll get into that in a little bit. So a great lineup of bands every day, plus DJ that we have. Uh, DJ Justin will be there on Saturday. Uh, in addition to that, as we're going through with everything, uh, we have a new ride company this year. So when everyone comes out for the ride, we have a brand new ride company that will be joining us this year. So the field is filling up with tremendous rides, some new entertainment coming out there. So everyone will be very excited to see that. Uh, we have our traditional games, so our game of chances will be there. Again, we're mixing that up a little bit this year, so we had some of the same games the last few years. So we brought in some new games, so it's something new and try. We have our tried and true traditional uh, uh, food vendors that will be with us, so some that we always have and a few new ones this year. Very lucky to have Chick-fil-A will be joining us, so they will be having a tent this year, so we're very excited to have them there. And then, of course, we have our traditional beer garden that we always have there. They'll be joining us and, and our normal uh, entertainment and 50-50, the big 50-50. We got to get going. And so we're continuing with our 50-50 sales. So last year, the winner took home $2,500. This year, we're looking to make that even larger. Oh, that's great. So also, I know that a favorite is the Zeppelis. Mm, yes. <laughs> I can assure you the truck is here. We saw it out there. So it's, uh, <laughs> they will be here. Good. That'll make all the kids happy. Yeah. Um, and then the uh, the standard, will the um, sausage and peppers and... Sausage and peppers and everything, everything that we shouldn't be eating that will be there <laughs> all week. In addition to that, um, Avelina's Pizzeria, who is uh, the wood fire pizzeria, they will be here also. So again, oh, everyone can awesome. get their traditional uh, wood fire pizza right there as soon as you come up the uh, main entrance. So very excited this year. Uh, will be some changes. So on the 16th, we're going to have our traditional fireworks and everything. Uh, Normally, you would come in off of River Road uh, because now we have the new development that's on the new next door neighbors that we welcome here. A uh, little changes. So actually, we'll be coming in off of Springfield Avenue. So the main entrance will be actually off of the Springfield uh, Avenue right down into the field there versus coming down River Road. Springfield okay. will be closed from the traditional uh, from Plain Field over the bridge into uh, into Long Hill. So that is the area. But because of the fact that we have to keep that area open in case any uh, residents need to get in and out. So from a safety standpoint, uh, working with the uh, Berkeley Heights Police Department, we changed the entrance to come in off of Springfield. So we'll have the tent and a normal setup in there. So again, if you haven't bought your tickets yet, ticket button uh, for Mount Carmel to get your pre-advanced sales. But of course, it'll be on sale the day when you come in there. Uh, at the entrance so but that's we're good for then. the 16th you need an entrance ticket but the but, other days is it are there wristbands or how does that work so sure the other days are a normal free entrance and then uh, if you wish to buy an unlimited ride from the ride company you buy a, a, a wristband for them for unrated ride for the day or you buy your traditional, I'll buy six tickets to do a ride or whatever you want to do for that, which is um, okay. uh, the traditional as we've been doing. And something also very excited, we're very, very excited to be welcoming a special guest to, uh, I shouldn't say to Berkeley Heights, she is from Miss, uh, from Berkeley Heights, so Miss New Jersey. Uh, she'll be joining us this year, so she'll be there on Tuesday joining us. Ironically enough, great backstory that uh, as we were talking with her, her birthday is on uh, July 16th. So as a child, mm. she always came to the feast to celebrate the feast and watch the fireworks. So she'll be here. She's going to be walking around. She's going to uh, uh, give a little speech to talk about her journey to become Miss New Jersey, along with Miss T. New Jersey will be joining us on there. 
And uh, right now, as she will be helping us on that day, she'll do a little, you know, a little time in the game, a little time spending 50-50, walking around. And she also will be our 50-50 uh, puller of the ticket this year. So uh, wow. my, daughter, she, my daughter's getting pushed to the side just for this one year. But no, <laughs> uh, not, not all seriously. No, uh, she'll be pulling the 50-50 uh, for the ticket this year. So I'm very excited to have her. So. That's uh, so it's, it's going to be it's going to be you know what's shaping up mother nature looks to be cooperating so fingers crossed that we stay that way uh but we are so excited for that a lot a lot of hard work went into that and especially with our sponsors so danielle maybe you want to just talk about our sponsors who is joining us this year some returning some new and all the great things that uh, you know a lot of the businesses in town have been contributing which we're so so grateful yeah yeah uh yeah thanks mike um let's see we've got let me i'm trying to remember we've got um Summit Summit Health was a sponsor. Um, Lori Holston Homes. We've got um, Game Changer, new 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 business in town, local business. Um, what else do we have? Um, Two Fields Bakery. We've got. I'm trying to remember the sign. <laughs> yeah, then we also have. You know, we have the Connell um, Corporation, Pure Movement Dance Center. Uh, we also have um, Smith Chiropractic. Tap into again. Store. Thank you very much, Fabi. Uh, in in a few, and also uh, Diamond Hill Montessori School is also joining us in the air, and a few other. And also Bob and Nadine Tokash is also a personal sponsor of the feast this year. So we're very very happy for all the sponsorships. You know, without the sponsorships. Uh, all this would not be possible to make this happen on there. So we're very, very grateful for them on that. That's, a, I mean, that's good to know because as we know, as uh, being community members that give back, we know how much work everything takes um, and money. It costs yes. money to throw yeah. events. You have to hire the police and you have to get, all the extra um, security for these type of events, um, DPW. Can you tell me a little bit about when do you start planning this event? Because this is a monster of an event. <laughs> that's, a, that's a million dollar question. Yeah, so we start planning on July 17th, 2024. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> no, no, in, in, in all seriousness, no, we do actually start planning right after the feast is over because we, we sit down, lessons learned, what can we do differently, what can we do better? But really, it does pick up in uh, in January, February uh, before the feast. So it starts with, you know, it's amazing, you know, what goes into having a feast. You know, we have to work with the county. So the feast is partially on Mount Carmel property. It's on uh, uh, County of New Jersey property. So we have to get permits from them. And that's a contract that we require. That require insurance requirements in there. And we have to have contract with New Jersey Transit because when we shut down Springfield Avenue, we have to have police at the train station crossing. You also have to have uh, police in Long Hill because we shut down the road right on the other side of Morris County. So we have to get approval from both Morris County and Long Hill Township. Uh, we obviously have to get approval from the county to shut down Springfield Avenue, approval from the uh, Township of Berkeley Heights for the fireworks. There is a lot of permits we need to get into it. Once that's all said and done, then we have to arrange all the suppliers and the vendors. They also have to provide the insurance. Unfortunately, new this year, uh, we had to get a uh, separate insurance for the feast itself. Uh, as I've learned, you know, the economy dictates how people want. So because of what's going on in the economy this year, we had to get a special rider insurance just to cover us for the fee. So that was a little unexpected uh, expense that we had to take on. But you're absolutely right. You know, when you talk about the police coverage, we have the potential of four to 5,000 people showing up on the 16th for the main fireworks. So there's local police, county police, New Jersey transit. There's just so many police here that are here to help to make sure that the residents are safe. All the people coming through, everywhere that's working at the feast is safe. Uh, that. So we have a very significant police presence. And this in general, it's just every little thing that, you know, we have to set a fence up. Oh, the fence from last year broke. We have to buy a new fence. We're doing repairs on our stage. We're doing repairs around here. So again, a lot of repairs and a lot of preparation goes into it. So that way, when we sit down, you know, sit down, haha, preferably speaking, <laughs> uh, when we kick off the feast on Friday, you know, you have a lot of little people, a lot of people running around at everything. But miraculously, every year, you know, right at the end, it all comes together and people have such a great time. I mean, in, in, in the, what I can't, just very excited about is our entertainment this year. Uh, we have entertainment every night this year. 
uh, a lot of local bands, uh, uh, the Jammers will be coming in on, on Sunday, Distortion, uh, DJ uh, Justin, a local resident town, he'll be doing the DJing up there. Uh, in addition to that, um, we have uh, we have secured Elvis. Elvis is coming back from the dead. So on the actual awesome. feast night, uh, Elvis will be here. So we have an Elvis band that'll be coming in, which is great. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have a good entertainment and then when we don't have a band going on, there will be, uh, we always will have going on in the background music going on. So, 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 so the lineups are on, on Friday the 12th, we have Gypsy Soul. Yep. On okay. Saturday the 13th, DJ Justin. On Sunday, we have the Jammers and then Missing Pieces, again, another local band. On Monday, which is also the mini fireworks, we have the Kids Who Stayed and Distortion, uh, then followed by the mini fireworks at 9.30 at night. And then, of course, the main event, on July 16th, we start off at 8 a.m. at the Church of uh, the Little Flower. We make our procession throughout the town. We apologize in advance for the bombs going off during the day, but we can't not have our tradition uh, of the bombs during the day, followed by a great mass at 11.30. So those who are available or not working, please come to the mass at 11.30 a.m. at the Little Flower. And then we kick off everything at 6 o'clock at night with uh, uh, Jay, uh, Jay Allen and the legend of Elvis, uh, Elvis be joining us along with Miss New Jersey and Miss T New Jersey coming to us on the 16th and of course 10 p.m. the great fireworks by Garden State Fireworks uh, Santoro family here in Berkeley Heights right? will be putting on a, once again a very exciting uh, showcase this year for us so um, and uh, can't not talk about it more of the great support we get from everybody so we have an action-packed week looking forward for everyone being here great rides great games great food great fun just a lot of great times so we're looking forward for everyone just coming down and take a break you know you know just at the beginning of the summer you know, again hopefully with mother nature cooperates with us just come on down and take a walk around come into the beer garden have a nice cold beverage go get some great food get some great zeppeli some great uh, italian sausage uh, and everybody and patronize that we have we have a lot of vendors also so we do have some different mm -hmm. vendors that will be coming in throughout the week. So again, different people that will be able to see some of the uh, local vendors or throughout without the town or within the surrounding towns showing off their merchandise and their availability. So again, please, uh, looking forward Sounds to seeing everybody. Amazing. And the one thing I really want to stress, I've, I've lived in town, it'll be 27 years. <laughs> it's tradition. It is a tradition that has been going on for generations way before like i'm a newbie so <laughs> these <Yeah>. people <laughs> are here for lifetimes and this is the memories that they remember and they're bringing it to the next generation and and the next generation i know that there are probably three or four generations possibly that attend the this event and they love the parade and it it just brings the the history here, the tradition, I, I love it. So thank you so much for carrying this on. I can't wait for um, Friday. I'll be <laughs> at the flag raising and uh, I'm sure several days getting those Zeppelis from, <laughs> from the fair. And I look forward to seeing Miss uh, New Jersey and uh, having fun watching the fireworks with all of you. And, and Bobby, thank you very much for your partnership. We uh, we couldn't do it without you, without all your promotion that you do for us and how you promote the fair. So thank you so much and how you do all everything for, for Mount Crom. So we really do greatly appreciate the partnership that we have. You're very welcome. That's what I'm here for. So I, I, I love partnerships and I appreciate your support as well. So we'll see you Friday. Sounds good. Please come on out Friday, 6 o'clock through Tuesday, every night, 6 o'clock. The bomb starts off the event. So please come on down, enjoy a few rides, go get some great food and enjoy uh, some nice cold beverages. So please, thank you very much and come on out. <laughs>